Hello everyone, myself Kaushal Jha. Today we have a very talented person from IIST, Mr. Hitam Nath, who got all in his second rank in Gate Aerospace 2022, and that too in first attempt only. And most amazing thing, which will motivate all the student out there, is his third year student. So Hitam, how did you plan your studies? Like how many hours you used you to prepare on a particular day? मैंने बहुत ज़्यादा different नहीं किया। I didn't do anything different for gate actually. Like whatever I was studying for my semester, I just continued that. Okay. And I took this uh, online test series from gate I was studying, and that helped me a lot for the final revision or uh, you know final preparation. Okay, okay. So like by third year, most of the important things in our syllabus are already complete in our college. Okay. Maybe some part of structures is left and proportion is left. Okay, okay. The proportion is taught in this semester, this six semester itself. Yeah, so only few things are left for so that. Uh, if somebody can manage by self-study, then I think uh, it's not uh, hard to and crack it in third year also. Okay, okay. And because uh, some other guys also cracked uh, it. Uh, my okay, okay. Other three guys also got uh, below 50. Yeah. So, uh, Hirtam, uh, many students used to complain that they are not able to cope up with third year uh, college workload and it is even higher in IIST, right? So, how did you manage uh, with the third year? Yeah, actually, yeah, like, like if, if anybody is able to manage the college workload well, then I think like, preparing for that is not a different thing. Okay. Like, uh, like what, what I said is like, it's somewhat like JE, like uh, if you are a science student and if you are preparing for JE, yeah. Uh, you are already studying, uh, you know, some separate things and some extra things. Mm -hmm. So you you don't need to prepare uh, separately for board exams. Those things are already covered in your syllabus or in your preparation. Mm -hmm. So maybe you need to, you know, just write some some mock test if you write for board exam. That will be enough for you because the knowledge you already have. Okay. You just need that practice and time management. That that thing, that thing you need. Okay. Okay. So, like, if you are preparing for a particular exam, you just need some particular planning for that, like how will you manage your time and those things. So, for that, you need to write some mock tests. But the preparation part, the knowledge part of those things are actually covered. Okay, okay. So, uh, like, uh, there is one more important question asked by many students that, uh, like, uh, how did you motivate yourself? Like, uh, they used to they they used to complain that. Uh, sometime in between the preparation, uh, the, uh, they used to demotivated. Uh, the, the, uh, they are becoming demotivated. So, uh, is there like? Uh, yeah. Did you? What feel I would suggest is uh, uh, there is no need to take more tension. Actually, like uh, that what I mean is like uh, usually gate questions are uh, less difficult than about this uh, college questions, college question paper. So at least for my college, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I've seen is like. <clears throat> They put some conceptual questions like, uh, no, not very difficult questions like if somebody knows the thing well, mm -hmm. he has the basic concepts clear, mm -hmm. then they can do it. But you know that exam pressure, that particular situation like you have to solve these many questions and you have to maintain your speed and accuracy at the same time, those, for those things they actually mess up. Mm -hmm. so that's the thing, for that thing they need to practice, otherwise I think uh, if they are managing their college well, that means they already have that knowledge. Okay. So you don't need to prepare, like you don't need to do anything extra for that. Just write some mock tests and that will be, uh, I think it will be sufficient. Okay. So this should be learning for all other students out there. That uh, many yeah, students, so. yeah, so like I'm saying what I did. Yeah, because see, uh, many students with no placement, with no job in hand, they used to complain about motivation. And on the other hand, Hirtam Nath, already, uh, he has already been selected in uh, Indian Space Research Organization as a, for scientist post. Yeah, right. But yeah. and and like I will be selected. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. still and still you prepared and got all India second rank, right? So what else? Uh, uh, like uh, anyone can uh, get right for the motivation purpose. Uh, motivation. I mean, like, like uh, what I said is like uh, somebody doesn't one doesn't need to take uh, you know ten, tension or something like the stress unnecessary stress that is actually. Stress is your biggest enemy in any competitive exam. If you take stress, you will uh, like either you will lose your speed or you will lose your accuracy. So both will kill you in a competitive exam. So you don't need to be stressed actually and uh, like in get this is I took from Gate of the Academy. In the first uh, exam I think I scored some fifty eight or something. That's not a very good score. 
the second one i got something more than 16 third one i got more than 70 yeah yeah so at least some mock test one should uh, take actually uh-huh. and have them uh, like uh, uh, how did you plan your revision especially uh, in the last month like, like in january month right so that is very crucial for gate exam so did yeah, you yeah, yeah. do you follow any strategy for revision purpose uh one thing maybe like uh, first of all one may see some youtube videos or some maybe coaching videos in 2x speed so that mm-hmm. not all videos like mm-hmm. maybe some concept you have forgotten or okay. some formula you don't remember okay and then the second thing you can do is like you can make on formula sheet like uh, what yeah. i used to, not for all subjects like in those fields where i used to you know forget things yeah yeah there you can write your small concepts or maybe some in short notes you can make so that you can remember those things better and otherwise it will be like when you are actually solving mock mock paper for so giving a mock test i think you are always doing that practice so you will not uh, if you do this sincerely somebody will not forget those things i think even like even after that if you please forget it then i think the short notes may help okay okay and uh, one more question but I that that's one has to make during preparation itself like otherwise you will not get enough time <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and one more question uh, which i want to ask that is related to the silly mistake in gate exam yesterday i was talking uh, with amit who got all india second uh, sorry th- uh, sixth rank sixth, sixth, sixth rank yeah. so we were also talking on the same issue that is how to avoid the silly mistake in gate exam and while checking the response sheet of uh, many other people uh, like last year or last to last year third ranker fourth ranker uh, like this so even i wrote in the group also so there there were many silly mistake not not in tough question but very simple question like plus minus or some this kind yeah. of mistake so is so do you have any strategy to avoid that and uh, is there any strategy strategy you followed during that 3 hours in gate exam not exactly like even i used to come in, i am also used to come with uh, like many silly mistakes like when i do it like when i give mock tests actually do it in many places i have seen mm-hmm. so the only way is to like practice more and more okay you think that if i skill like in the first exam like uh, what i wrote for before like during preparation from the online test series itself i did a lot of silly mistakes like when i was revising the uh, my answer sheet okay my response sheet i saw that like maybe 10 questions i did a very bad mistake like i shouldn't have done that okay in gate the second no no in that paper okay, okay in that paper uh, that mock test paper okay okay In the in the second uh, mock test I gave, there it was like reduced to five, I think. The third one, I think it was two or three. Okay. Only way is pra- practice. Practice. If practice. Somebody is feeling that he is committing more and more silly mistakes, then he has to keep practicing. Okay. Okay. And hit them. So in the like fourth or fifth attempt, or maybe in the sixth attempt, during giving mock test, I think that will be reduced much. So it's not a big problem actually. Like, I am also used to silly mistakes. Okay. I do in my semester exams also. okay i actually while checking the response sheet now like i used to ask everyone that is there any mm-hmm. way uh, uh, we can remove this uh, this kind of silly mistake so it will be very good uh, if we can remove somehow right so the yeah, silly mistake like uh, first of all you have to be calm and patient mm-hmm. during it like it's about you know, those simple strategies like uh, leave uh, big questions for the last moment and all those things they may follow mm-hmm. uh, that's a very common thing i think but still like only point is patient you know and when practice when i think the silly mistake will be reduced okay may not become zero actually that will happen in competitive exam anyway but like given i could i i could have done some silly mistakes also in the exam itself okay. maybe i could have got 90 or maybe 85 maybe okay. it's possible mm-hmm. like like uh, i'm talking about like i actually attempted all, almost all of the questions like two or three i think like less Okay. So then that and I got eighty one. That means I must have done some silly mistakes. Otherwise, it could have been better. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that I have could have got all in AI one with the time satisfied with my time. That's not the point. No, actually, what I'm saying is that even I have committed some silly mistakes. Actually, no. You are you are very close to first ranker, I think, because your score is also thousand only. Yeah, score is same. Score yeah, is same. same. I checked it. Huh. Like I checked on LinkedIn. Uh, the score is actually same because I think I made, my age is less. That's why I got second. Huh. So. Uh, yeah so uh, uh, what what is your future goal uh future goal for the time being is is raw only like okay i i have interest in hypersonics and propulsion okay okay so you all, uh, I, so you have you have already been selected so no problem in that right so not officially but i know that i will be selected because okay, okay. you know that's good 
each year 40 out of 60 students are selected. As of now, I am the topper in this institute, so I think, yeah, I think it will be okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, IST also like uh, sends the topper to Caltech for MS program. Okay, so from both aerospace and EC, they send the toppers to Caltech for MS. Mm -hmm. so I think I'll like. I haven't decided whether I will, you know, accept that uh, offer or not. But I have to think. But okay. anyway, like my, my interest in those fields only high performance and propulsion, I think I'll be like doing. Uh, like I want to do make some contribution in that field for Indian space program, Indian aerospace uh, programs actually. Okay. That's very good. That's amazing. Yeah. Like I don't want to leave this country like for working at least. For studying, it's okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. do you have any suggestion for uh, any uh, for the students who are uh, preparing now? Uh, like I think it will be like the situation will be different for like some mechanical people also like get in aerospace. But okay. Then the situation will be different actually. Mm -hmm. The aerospace point of view, like if he is, if he is an aerospace student only, he can just you know focus on his college studies only. Mm -hmm. Focus on like. Uh, what I will say is if somebody asks me to focus on the college studies only, semester studies, whatever the, your teaching is teaching or whatever, like maybe in the videos or maybe some coaching stuff you are taking, and try to score better in your college exams. Okay. That will be better. And what I have done is I have done in the last months or maybe in the last two months, uh, give as many mock tests as possible for taking in your online or maybe offline test series. So in the, otherwise, or by, uh, but for mechanical people, I think it will be like dif different also because they have to, you know, study a lot more things than us. Because mm -hmm. where well, they have already studied aerodynamics, light mechanics, and all those things, but mm -hmm. they don't know those things. Yeah, yeah. So they have to study. For them, it will be it may be difficult because alongside their um, college studies, they have to study these things also. It may be difficult. Mm -hmm. I don't know about I don't have any idea. But for aerospace guys, the uh, Thing, the, the best thing will be to focus on your college studies. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, labels is safe. Excel, hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you excel in them, the gate paper is actually easier than that. Hmm. So if your concepts are clear, the basic concepts like big calculations or those kinds of things have to be. Don't come and get up, uh, observe this thing. So basic concepts are clear, and if you practice a bit, I think you can get a good score. In aerospace, at least. Okay, Ritam, uh, thank you so much for joining with us. And, uh, yeah, it was a pleasure to meet you, sir. Uh, and congratulations uh, to you and your family for this great success. And wishing you all the very best for the future. Jai Hind. Jai Hind, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, Bye sir. Good night. Bye. Good night.